but I, I, I refuse to give up hope on, on Luca. Can we talk about Derek White? That dude might be the most consistent all around basketball player in the league. Okay, number six, he's known for being an alcoholic. <laughs> Something. He's a shooter. He's a shooter. Look, five for eight from three. What is a shooter? Well, let's not. Welcome to the ET Ball Podcast, episode three. Yes, sir. Let's get to it. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit, a little bit different. We're going to start the show off with a little. A little uh, guessing game, yeah. I think is what we're is what we're doing to start off, right? And then we'll move on to some some finals talks and some maybe some off season discussions. Uh, and then we got a, a NFL segment, kind of little little connection of the two ships here, yeah. NBA <laughs> and NFL. And we may you may get lucky enough to hear about <laughs> G League expansion. Yeah, draft. if we're feeling frisky enough, <laughs> maybe we'll talk about Sun's new G League team. Frisky. Frisky ah. is a perfectly fine adjective. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> okay, let's okay. get to this game. This is, this is I the haven't game. even heard about what this it's game a, it's is going to be. It's, a little, it's another guessing game like last episode. This is going to be the top 10 worst field goal percentages in the finals. Mm. Minimum 150 shots. History? In history? In, in history, yes. Um, we're going to do it a little different, though. We're, I'll have you guess on each number. So we'll start with 10, mm. and you're just not going to get it. But I'll give you some hints. Okay. He uh, was very similar to uh, Norris Cole. Norris Cole. Very similar as in like play style? Or team, ro- team position. So Mario, Mario Chalmers? Chalmers? Yes, sir. Mario <laughs> Chalmers. In what, 2011? I, it, it's all time. So all, oh, of, his, okay. all of his all finals. Combined. He shot 40% from the field. That is the 10th worst. Wow. It's not that bad, to be honest. Yeah, I thought I was going to start out lower than that. But I guess if there's an attempt minimum, then... You gotta be getting, getting shots up. Yeah. All right. Number nine. We have an all time great here. Mm. So Kobe Bryant. No, that's not a bad guess, mm. but put some respect on Kobe. AI. Nope. Same line of thinking or no? Uh kind of. Not a guard. Not a guard. Okay. Um pretty modern too. Like like twenty tens. Or I guess two thousands plus. KG? No. KG didn't shoot enough to get that. I guess. I guess so. Um, Dirk, I feel like he shot pretty well. Dirk is number nine. Dirk is number nine. Uh, Also 40%. Same as Mario Chalmers. 40%. Dirk, you got to. Come on, bro. No. Come on. (laughs) And he he beat LeBron. (laughs) Beat LeBron with that 40%. Yeah, I thought this was going to be individual finals. I was like, oh, we're going to talk about 2011 LeBron finals. Seriously. (laughs) No, this is this is like all time. Every every single I think goal. LeBron would have two up there. Twenty fifth, uh, yeah, twenty fifteen too. I think he shot like he might eight percent. Number eight, you are all are also not going to get this one at all. So I'm just going to give you a really big hint. He has a son playing right now, and he plays for the Clippers, and <laughs> he used to play for the Rockets. Kenyon Martin. Yeah, Kenyon Martin <laughs> shot. You just gave me that one. You didn't even give me a chance. I mean, Come you still on, need bro. to You're know. Respect to my ball. You knowledge. need to know a little Come bit. On, you didn't have to give me that big. You were never going to get it unless I... Martin would have been probably the third, third guy I would have guessed just off of the sun in the NBA. Oh, okay. I guess I could have done that. But yeah, he shot thirty nine point four. No, hmm. number right. seven. Where did, did he go with? The, who did he even go with? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know we went to the finals. To be honest. <laughs> Number seven, seven. Just point, just one decimal lower than big name. Somewhat, he's known for wearing something. Wearing something, a headband, I assume. Not a headband. Not a headband. Oh, Rip Hamilton. Yes, sir. Wow, Richard Look Hamilton. Thirty-nine point three. Yeah. Is that a, is that a better quality hint? That was a good quality hint. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, at number six. <laughs> At number six. I'm tired, bro. This is going to be bad. Right. Yeah, we're recording this. Bad. What time is this? Uh, 11.45 a.m. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 3.45. Okay. Number six. Just another decimal below Richard Hamilton's. 39.2. He's known for being an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people known for being alcoholics. Is it J.R. Smith? A, nope. Mm. Older than J.R.? Yes, he yeah. is a coach. Ooh, Jason Kidd. 
Yes, sir. Jason wow. Kidd. Wow. 39.2. Number six on the list. Good job, At PZ. number five, I honestly might as well just tell you this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to I try to get this. Okay. You don't disrespect okay. me, bro. I'm I four think, for four. I think he's an assistant coach now. Willie Green. No. <laughs> That's the head coach. <laughs> no, he was an assistant coach for the Suns. But right now, I think he's an assistant coach. He, he was assistant coach for the Suns. This guy was no, not for the Suns. Oh. I th- it might be the Timberwolves, but it all- could also be like the Clippers. He's bald. Sam Cassell, same first name. Wow, <laughs> I could just be wrong. By the way, too, I don't know if Sam I even Perkins. I don't know. Yeah, Sam Perkins. Sam Perkins. Sam Perkins. Celtic legend. Uh, yes, sir. Sam Perkins. Sam Perkins. I don't think he coaches. Does he not? Maybe I was confusing it with Sam Cassell. He might be. He type Sam in. Cassell was a. Back check this. Yeah, because I know Sam Cassell was. Sam Perkins. It is not. He got. He had to have coached somewhere. Come on. Uh, it doesn't look like he coached. Darn. Okay, I don't know who Sam Perkins is. This is embarrassing. I don't know. I Sam got Perkins, the guess though. That counts. Mandela effect. Wow. Thirty-nine percent. All right. Number four. This is. I guess that we can say this is one of one of your guys here, since you like LeBron so much. <laughs> um. That's the only hint I'm gonna get because he's. It's a pretty. Notable LeBron teammate. Okay. Um, is it Kevin Love? <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Love. Thirty-eight <laughs> percent. Not very much help for LeBron here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess playing against the best competition the NBA has ever seen. I feel like he should have a pass. I think three honorary rings. Yeah. <laughs> give it up. <laughs> oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Give one to Le- give one to all LeBron too. <laughs> All right, number three, another LeBron teammate. This yeah. one off the Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> That's three LeBron teammates at the top. Yes, team. sir. Yes, That's sir. <laughs> JR Sweezy, bro. Oh, Let's yeah. 37.7%. percent <laughs> on the fadeaway three. It's the highest all time list that he's going to be on. <laughs> I think this is going to make the first podcast episode. We end up crying. <laughs> Uh, you're closer to tears than me, bro. <laughs> Already there. It's, uh, rip JR, bro. RIP. <laughs> All right, number golf. two, this one is disappointing. Um, some Most would say a legend, Hall of Famer. Uh, most would say? I think basically all of them, but played in the 90s. Ooh. And he was a big man. Sean Kemp? Bigger. <laughs> bigger than Sean Kemp. Way bigger. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Uh, taller. Um, <laughs> you got Keem the Dream. Closer. O- Ola Jawan. No sir. No, I'm not. I'm not guessing Shaq. But it's not Shaq. It's not Shaq from the '90s. Carl Malone. <laughs> nope. No. Nope, nope. Not Carl Malone. Um, Think worse. Worse. Worse, but still good. But still bad. In the 90s. Late 90s is when he went to the finals. Oh, is it Charles Barkley? Nope, that is also... No. No, it's <laughs> also not a good guess. No, I was going to say also not late 90s, but I think they did go and like... Yeah, I thought they went in like 96. To play yeah. The Bulls. Because like the Bulls played the Sonics. Uh, in, that, in the second 3 pit it was the... Wasn't it the... No, it was... It Suns, was... Sonics, and... uh. No, jazz? second was Suns. No, not Suns. It was Sonics. I think it was just Sonics, Jazz, Jazz. I think they went play the Jazz twice. It? Yeah, maybe they didn't go to the finals in that. Oh, was it? Is it? Is it's not Ulster Tag? Is it? I don't even know who that is. Greg so, Ulster Tag? No, no. I don't know, bro. You're better than hey, that, man. Is it Ewing? Yes, it is. 1999 finals. Patrick Ewing, thirty six point six percent. I wouldn't have even thought he got 150 shots up. He only went to one. He was chucking them, and he was missing them. I guess so. All right, number one. This one's very topical. Um, but this also, I think, was before... Okay, well, I can't say that. I'll say this <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> because it's just going to give it away. Uh, number number two or number one? Number one. This is number, number one. one. Worst field worst goal percentage worst. in the finals. Minimum 150 shots. Okay, I'm going to do a little little investigation right here. Is Is he a player who played in the 2000s? No. He has not played in the 2000s. Well, I mean, like, if you're counting the whole millennium, yes, but not but, like, like, not since 2000, the year 2000. Not since no. Okay. He's playing right now. Since the 2000s, as I'm saying, like, has he played 
Yeah, no, no, he's in, he but he's in the league now. Yeah, he's in the league right now. He oh. went into the league in the tens. In the tens. Hmm. Worth Westbrook? No, that's pretty disrespectful, but not a bad guess. <laughs> I mean, he's Russell Westbrook. Come on, let's be for real. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he only went to one, so I don't know. He, I don't even think he got up that many shots in the probably not the third option. Well, no, but anyway, um, Clay Thompson. Nope, that's only one elimination <laughs> game. Not all of them. <laughs> We're not gonna forget about that, bro. No, that part is <laughs> <laughs> even in the finals. It brought his percentage down. That's how bad uh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, has he gone to multiple finals? Yep, he's gone to two. Two. Two finals. Two finals. Has he won one? Oh. Not yet. Jason Tatum. Yes, sir. Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum. Worst <laughs> player in NBA history. <laughs> in the finals. 35.4%, but I think it might be higher now after last night. So thirty five point five percent. No, it's probably like thirty. Well, I think he had like forty four percent. He shot like forty four percent last. Did he? I thought he shot it like wasn't good. Great. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it was good, but it wasn't great. It was way better than what he's been shooting. Was yeah. he like twenty seven percent the other night? Eighteen like percent night before that. It's pretty like, bad. Awful. All threes. Well, I think it's safe to say I have elite ball knowledge, and I need to be signed to a better, <laughs> better than last episode. <laughs> it's was it even deep. in last episode. The episode cut out. I don't even know if we got to it. Did we? Did we get to the George Mikan struggle? I don't know. I think we did. I think we did. I hope we did. Anyway, that was embarrassing, but it was a brain fart. We all have those. So it happens sometimes. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Let's go on, get on to the uh, a little final song. Since it's a good segue. Hey, number one. Yeah, in world, number least one. Efficient players in the NBA final this is true. Soon to be number one in the world because. The Boston Celtics are going to sweep the Maverick. <laughs> this was recorded before Game 4. Just wanted to let y'all know that. How can he be number one in the world when his teammates going to win finals MVP? Well, I meant like team. Uh, I wasn't really. Well, yeah, they are. They are legit. I'm not giving up hope, though. I'm not giving up hope. <laughs> Did you? They're giving up hope. No, Luca is watching our up. podcast right now, and he's going to get motivated by this speech. Luca, you didn't even go to practice. <laughs> He didn't, go to he didn't go to practice today. I didn't see that. He didn't show he's up hurt. to the free practice. Because he's hurt. No Mavs player showed up to the free practice. None of them. There's 30 minutes. There was just coaches shooting the ball around because they were bored. Because <laughs> no one was at the practice. They gave up. They've given up. <laughs> they probably have. But I, I, I refuse to give up hope on, on Luca and my Mavs pick. But it's not looking it's not looking too good. It's got to be some type of racist. Yeah, but but he, <laughs> have you seen like okay? So they came out after game one saying Luca was hurt. Like his his knee was hurt. Oh, his yeah. back was hurt. He's like been his hurt. neck was hurt. The whole like, playoffs. Yeah, and he's still dropping thirty point triple doubles. And he can't. But he can't play defense. Yeah, and, but yeah, no one all. else in their team can play defense either. <laughs> so like they they're just. But but to see you say we say that like they're not playing defense and they've kept the Celtics like one hundred and seven points was the most they scored. Really. Yeah, like they scored like 105, 106 uh, last night. Before that, they, they scored. Uh, oh, oh, it's gone now. Anyway, I know they scored like less than that. Yeah, 105 and, 10, and 107. Yeah. Pretty consistent by the Celtics. Yeah, 106 points, and the Mavericks have yet to touch 100. Yeah. They're not hitting yeah. shots. They're, they're shooting a, like, just a god awful three point percentage. PJ Washington. I saw before last night. Up. Before last night, the Mavs role players were, were shooting nine percent from three. <laughs> Everybody but Luca on their team was shooting nine percent from three. They Kyrie three for thirty five. Kyrie hadn't made a three since until last night. He didn't make a three in the first two games. It was he like over hit nine. a clutch shot to save his life. He couldn't I think he went like over three in the last two and a half minutes. But anyway. They can't do it without Luca, and yeah. Luca's not 100. percent So I'm giving that. That is the. Uh, that's the one thing I'm giving them <laughs> the excuse to get one excuse, yeah. and is that their best player is injured. Also, but, has nothing to do with defensive decision making at all. It has nothing to do. With it. Definitely take a charge in that situation next game, Luca. It's a good idea, especially yeah. when you have five fouls. Well, and and the ref. The refing has not been good, oh, but yeah. that's not, it's still not keeping the Mavs from scoring points, but, but it's been pretty bad. It's been pretty inconsistent. There's been calls like on a game to game basis, the same exact play happening and they've called it one way, but not the other. It has like and, the Washington block and, and then, yeah. And then there's one on Derek Washington White and blocked Derek White. Yeah. And they called a foul on it, but, and, and then PJ Washington got pushed, pushed in the back too. So I don't, I don't really know why they're, they didn't call that. Thank you there's for your no excuse. 
Because that they could that could have swung that game for sure. That dunk right there. Okay, swing so us. <laughs> I didn't say us. You did. You said that could have won us that game. No, I said swung. Oh, I thought you said won us that game. No, swung the game. Could have swung the game for sure. Hater. You said us last time, so we are gonna win <laughs> game five. Or I am gonna <laughs> suit up if I have to. <laughs> they might need me shoot Tim Hardaway. I'll take his spot. Jeez, Tim Hardaway ain't doing anything. Nothing, absolutely nothing. But getting cooked on defense, just getting picked apart, and he can't hit a shot to save his life. And he hasn't been able to hit a shot for a week. Like <laughs> biggest fall off since Jaleel Okafor. I'm, I'm ready to see some big Dante Exum minutes. He needs to start. Four. He needs to start on JB. But Lock Luka down, at small JB. forward. Don't do that. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> No, we'll we'll take our Luga point guard minutes. <laughs> anyway, right, that's enough finals. We talk about the finals every time because well, this is the biggest point in basketball. It is, but this but is the most boring finals ever. It's only boring because one team sucks and the other team is really good. <laughs> the Celtics aren't going to be able to do this again. Probably Don't. not. Is it is it Porzingis expiring deal? I hope so. They cannot. I hope they him. definitely can't afford to bring him back. Can we talk about Derek White? That dude might be the most consistent all around basketball player in the league. Why did the Spurs get rid of him? That's what I, I don't. They got rid of him for like a second round pick. When, when I was looking at uh, the Spurs like cap situation. I was like, oh, let's look at some some players that they make a go after. I'm like, man, Derek White's on like a sixteen million dollar deal. Yeah, and he's and he's arguably their third best player, and he's I mean definitely a all defensive team guy like for 16 million and he's shooting 40 percent from three and just ridiculous top, top two cutter in the league and best shot blocking guard in the league probably up there in league history for best shot blocking guards very consistent catch and shoot that dude does the same like follow through every and it's because time he shaved his head it is the second he shaved his head he locked in i don't know what happened <laughs> you want to acknowledge that <laughs> i haven't said anything about it <laughs> Boy, yeah. this is only the people who watch it are going to be able to see this. <laughs> I'm locking in. <laughs> With these finals. With the lock bro. in. He's, he's ready to suit up at any chance. They, once he gets the call, he's coming in. I am. <laughs> Coach, <laughs> J-Kid, I'm just like you for real. Jason, Give me the ball. Get out the way. Hey, he's got some Hennessy, too, if you need it. For people wa- not watching and listening, <laughs> if they're... All- oh, yeah. Uh, 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 audio uh, listeners that can't see Elijah... He is completely bald. There's no hair on his head. I'll show you my head. <laughs> he is shiny, or you know, Richard Jefferson esque. Just felt like doing something different. Yeah, why not? Oh, uh, he's gonna shave his head now. Oh, I'm not. Ne- next episode, we're doing a live. <laughs> live if this shoot. video gets a million likes. If we get a million likes, <laughs> I will shave my head. That's a promise right there. A million likes. <laughs> Let's get us there. <laughs> the boys got Let's- me. <laughs> Post this one on the TikTok. Yeah, post the boys got me on this one. Oh. Okay, what team do you want to talk about first? Because, you know, the finals, it's getting boring. We got to start talking about the off season. Yeah, off season coming up. And, I mean, there it could, I, I have a feeling it's going to be just a dead off season. But there's a lot of free agents. There's some realize. good ones. Yeah, like Siakam. Like Siakam, Harden. Yeah. Uh, there's a bigger one, too. Uh <laughs> Yeah, Paul Paul George, he's a uh, he's unrestricted. Yeah, I about Paul George. DeMar DeRozan's unrestricted, unrestricted. Miles Bridges, D'Lo, Clay, Toby. Who wants Toby? Nobody. Asked. The Suns. Uh, no, I don't. We do not want <laughs> the Suns are taking Toby. We do not want Tobias Harris. This right here, that's the steal free agency. He's gonna go he to a, he's gonna go no. to a contender. You know, Ice Jones is gonna go to a contender, and he's gonna be the Derek White, but just different. But he's gonna be that like piece that like somebody needs to get to get there. The Derek White, except all he can do is not turn over the ball and pass, and shoot some threes. I'll take that. I mean, yeah, you did take. He that. can play defense. He's a little bit. undersized. He's six one, but no, he's not six one. He's close. I don't know what he is. I think Gary Trent Jr. Trey Jones is like five eleven. <laughs> really? Yeah. Short man. That's that's but that's who I was gonna say. The let's let's talk about Spurs because okay. I feel like. I, I'm in like a, a pickle here because you have Devin himself who's 24. He's yeah. under contract, and I think you got to keep him. You got yeah, you got to keep him, and he's on. It's not a terrible deal. I think he's making like 29, 29, 29 and then goes up to like 30 and then 31 or something. 
But not bad. Would be hey, bad in 2016, but no, no. Yeah, no, and it's not going to be bad two years from now when no. max contracts are freaking $70 million a year. But I think while Wimby is on his rookie deal, because he's, he came in and he's been so effective, man, like, like showing that, like, if, if they have a good team, they can compete with him as their best player. I think that they should take advantage of that before they have to yeah. work out $70 million a year. Mess for up their cap later on. Right. So, like, <clears throat> right now, I would say, I would say if I'm the Spurs, I'm winning now one while Pop is still coaching. Like, I don't think he's going to be coaching for Wimby's whole career. No. Nope. He's going to be dead. Pop's going to be gone in like four years. They got to, if they want to win with him, they got to do it now. Right. And, and so that's what they have. They have some pieces that they can trade, but not many. And, but, but they have draft capital. Like they had that fourth and the eighth pick. And I think, well, so, so my thought process when I was looking was like, okay, so they got Kelton Johnson, who was highly disappointing this year. He's on a $20 million deal. They got Zach yeah. Collins, who's making $17 million. Zach Collins has to go. He's got to go. Zach Collins has to he, go. Any, any Zach Collins minutes is just taking away from Wimby minutes because they can't be on the yeah. court at the same he's time. He's not even like a vet, too. He's no. like, he's like, what, 26? Yeah. And he's like, he's missed like three seasons. He's like, just, he might and as well he, be a sophomore. And he puts up shots. It's not like he goes on the court and he's like a plus player. He just no. gets in the way. He's gonna he's gonna go on the court. He's gonna put up thirteen shots a game. Like it's just he's he's gotta go. So you to me like those two guys you you're not gonna be able to package them. But you can you can send one off for capital like a salary dump or whatever. And JaVale McGee. Zach Collins for JaVale McGee. Who declines it? <laughs> <laughs> Probably the spur. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know that they would want no, Javale McGee, McGee and a and a, a pick or two. Not bad. No, Second, I'm not trading for Javale McGee. You, the, the Spurs need a veteran big. That's what they need. If I'm looking for a veteran big, I'm not looking for Javale, Javale McGee. He I'm went, looking for like he, Dwayne Deadman. <laughs> no, you, what do you mean Dwayne Deadman? You see what last time he w- was on the Heat, he got cut because he like threw a chair because Eric Spolstra subbed him out. Yeah, you're Dwayne Deadman. Of course, you got subbed out. Like what? <laughs> Go for y- Jonas Valanciunas. He's on Jonas Valanciunas would not be a bad pickup. He would be a good at pick. all for or like he'd be Adams. great. It's a beautiful pickup actually. Yeah, but they need money first. Jonas. So also mm. someone you left out, Devonte Graham is making twelve million. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. That needs to go away. <laughs> <laughs> Another shot chucker. Yeah, but yeah, there's no, there's no reason that they should have those guys on the contract. But I get like last year they weren't really going to do anything. They knew they weren't competing. They're really trying to lose games. But you have this fourth pick and this eighth pick. And honestly, I, th- I could see a trade happening where they trade, say, Keldon Johnson, the fourth and the eighth pick, and maybe throw in a future first or, I don't know, Malachi Branham for uh, DeJounte in the first pick. And the first? Yeah. I could see that happening. Because the, I saw that the Spurs were already, they're already interested in and moving up to that first pick, like packaging the fourth and the eighth. Yeah. Kelton Johnson, to me, fits better in the Hawk with the Hawks than DeJounte does for sure. He's younger, salaries match up. <laughs> DeJounte was just on the Spurs. I know, but like, <laughs> they, the, have you not heard Welcome like everybody back. talking about, about uh, wanting him back? Yeah. Like, like him being the, and he would, he would fit. They just didn't have Wimby then. And so like, obviously when, when you're in a rebuild, you get rid of the guys who have value. And he's losing value every day that he's on the Hawks, but his his contract is super team friendly. Yeah, it's not bad. Spurs are really good at just like throwing low balls at their players, and they just take it. Well, I mean, I think because he probably signed a team friendly deal because he came from the G League up there. Like True. he wasn't he wasn't like a highly touted player. Yeah, but I also could see them making some dumb decision like bringing like Miles Bridges if they can get Miles Bridges on a like. Garbage deal for he's, Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges isn't. He's Miles Bridges is going to sign close to a max he can get. No. Yeah, he's going to be. He, he's going to make close to thirty million dollars. No, he's got the yes. abuse tax or whatever the heck. <laughs> it didn't seem to bother him this year. He still averaged twenty two a game. It didn't. But the Hornets were very reluctant to get him. They only realized after they were garbage that they need to get him back. I wouldn't have gotten him. It just messed up their pick. <laughs> That's true. What pick do they have? Uh, what do they have? Do they even have a pick? I think so. Why wouldn't they have a pick? I don't know. Probably trading them with PJ Washington like some idiots. Yeah, they got a six pick. Okay. Six pick. Don't know what to do with that information, but that's happy for them. <laughs> good good for them. They get to they get uh uh they could get Bronny. They really they could. 
It, it would be he would be on the board <laughs> at number six. <laughs> but you get him at forty two. Why would they do that? Don't know. But big names equals big money, and Charlotte needs that real and bad. That's what we're going for. Yeah. You know what? That would be a move right there. MJ chose. He vetoed all the all the picks. Said draft Bronny, and then sent him right to the G League and made him suffer in there. <laughs> Just to make LeBron mad and say, I'm the real GOAT. Your son sucks. He's going in the G League for the rest of his career. <laughs> All right. That, that'd be a power play. Where's LeBron going? Then? Not the Hornets. He's not going to do that. No. Michael, I, think, I think there's probably like five teams that he could go to. Four or five teams. Um, I, I think he's just going to step the Lakers. But if he goes somewhere, I think it, it's it's most likely going to be like, like an East Coast team. like. The Sixers or the Knicks, I would love to the see Knicks him would go be to the cool, Knicks. But I love to see him go to the Knicks. I'm scared of Tom Thibodeau. What he'll do to that man? I don't. I feel like <laughs> if he goes to the Knicks, I don't think Tom Thibodeau gets to tell him how what minutes he plays. It's true, but then Thibodeau might ask him to get traded. So who knows? Thibodeau likes it his way and no one else's. That's true. They have to go then. I don't think it's he's going to go anywhere. I, I wish he would, just because I don't think that there's going to be another championship. For him at the Lakers, nothing's gonna happen. Their in front LA. office is so bad. Nothing's gonna happen over Rob there. Blinka, he he makes the most like bland decisions, like, and and all of them are are like, it's like, oh, what is the media telling me to do? Oh, I'm gonna do that because that sounds cool. I'm What's gonna that? hire JJ Redick as my head coach because <laughs> he's never coached a game. <laughs> he has of, a he has a podcast. He has a podcast it. with LeBron. He's buddies with him. He's, he's feeling he can work this out. <laughs> they. Oh, uh, uh, who won the championship in the college this year? I don't even know his name. Sign him anyways. Send him seventy million. Dan Hurley. Dan Hurley, seventy million. Dan Hurley said no. Fine. <laughs> Dan Hurley I said think he get just out. Used that as a, a leverage. A, yeah, for a new contract with UConn. But anyway, smart man. Gonna get yeah. fifty rings in a row at UConn. If 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 LeBron was smart, he would coach UConn. <laughs> He'd go back to college. <laughs> is he wonder, still eligible? Do you think, I wonder if he has eligibility. Why not? <laughs> I don't know if you can. I don't think you can play a sport. In I don't think you can play a sport that you play professionally in college. He can go back and probably play college football if he wanted to. That'd be crazy. He might die, but <laughs> nah. Besides that, it'd be pretty fun. You <laughs> can go play D two college football. <laughs> All time sold D2. out crowd every day in Akron, Ohio. <laughs> I would I would go watch LeBron play football for Akron. He would come off the bench. No, he would not, bro. You don't think he'd come off no, the bench? He would start at tight end for Akron for sure. Maybe wide out. Sure. He's got grown man strength. That's different. All right. Well, since we're talking about the Lakers, <laughs> let's let's go over to the Lakers offseason. You already talked about it a little bit. I want to say what I think they should do. Okay. Jump the ship. Get out. Restart. Well, they can't do that. They can try. They can do something. At least get rid of Rui Hachimura. <laughs> get rid of Rui Hachimura. Let D'Lo leave. That frees up. Good all like almost forty million. They're still way in debt, like forty million in debt. Uh, Gabe Vincent gotta go too. Him and Hachimura are twenty eight million, and then also D'Lo's contract's like eighteen million. Yeah, what the salary cap's funny to me because it's like. They can they can be under the cap and for some reason like with different stipulations they can sound like a max dude. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't understand it. And that's how the uh, freaking Celtics are. That's how they got this stupid thing together. Also, all these stipulations in the salary cap, but it's about to shrink, isn't it? Isn't it the salary cap? I thought it was about to expand. Oh, is it? I thought so. With some TV deal that they're getting. Uh, uh anyways, though, you were talking about. Their front office is terrible. I have to agree because their main reason they're in debt is their their hold, their cap hold. They have waived so many players. They they still owe Jared Dudley money. They owe Carmelo Anthony money until 2029. Two million a year until 2029. The dude retired like a year ago. Well, that was the, the same thing they did with Lou Aldang. They didn't pay him off till like 2020. Stupid. He stopped playing for them in like 2014. Very dumb. It, and and I, I get it in the... They just have no long term reign. Like, like when you, I get it. When when you get LeBron, you're in win now mode. Like, okay, we're gonna build this team and we're gonna compete for a championship. Okay, you did that, and it worked great. 
And then you realize, oh, we build this team around Anthony Davis, a guy who is so unreliable that Injury we can't consistently prone. win with him as our best player. And we have a 40-year-old who we're, we're relying on to be the best player on our team when the team's not built around him. It's not a recipe to win. You're not going to be able to win when your team is built around a post player, but your best player on the floor every night is a guy who, who gets to the rim, whose, whose strength is, is, is opening up the floor for shooters, and, but you have a post player in there. Like it's just, it, yeah. it doesn't make sense, and it doesn't make sense that they built this team in the first place. It worked in 2020 because Anthony Davis shot the ball. Right. It does not work when Anthony Davis doesn't shoot the ball. I don't know if anyone noticed that. He stopped shooting yeah. threes in 2021. They haven't done anything since 2020. Yeah, but and, and even the three point shooting, like you can get around that a little bit if you have somebody like like if Anthony Davis is just uber aggressive and like and in you, but you still have to be respectable. You still have to have a yeah. respectable jump shot, and also you can't have guys on the floor like who are who are 32, 33 percent three point shooters on the floor with Anthony Davis and LeBron. Yeah, and 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 no one on their team was shooting consistently this year, other than D'Lo. Reeves wasn't even consistent. But I mean, like he was a respectable shooter. But other than that, like you brought in Tori shooters, and, Prince. And, and even Tori and Prince, like, like they all just like nosedive. Yeah, Gabe Vincent. It. Goodness gracious, what just, happened? I don't know. Go back to Miami. Lord help him. He's he's undrafted for a reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, undrafted for a reason. But the, yeah, they have no. There's no way out of this. And and the, I think they're just up to LeBron's disposal about what they're actually going to do because they're not going to blow it up unless he's leaving. If he if he comes back, they can't blow it up, and and they're not gonna say, oh yeah, we don't want you back, because then you're losing so much money <laughs> coming in. Yeah, gonna, like like well, they're still L.A., but yeah, but LeBron jerseys <laughs> sell a lot. <laughs> LeBron sells tickets a lot. That's why the last game of the regular season tickets were four hundred dollars <laughs> for nosebleeds. Like I think Anthony Davis's contract needs to be talked about too, because at the end of his contract. He will be 34, making $60 million. Yeah. That is Which, 30%, 33% of the Lakers cap space that year. But, but like, if he makes it to 34, <laughs> yeah, he knows? could retire in like two years. Like, I don't, like, I, I don't know. How old is he? 29, 30? He is 31 right now. Oh, really? Yeah, he's old already. Old. Yeah, you can tell. Yep. His knees are going to be gone by 34, but he'll still be making 60 million. Shout out John Wall. <laughs> he's he's going to need that jump shot that he doesn't have anymore. Yeah, that he just randomly decided he didn't want to use anymore. No point in it. Yeah. <laughs> he got his ring. He's yeah. done trying. I got my ring, and I live in LA. What else is there to do? Win more rings? No. I don't care about legacy. <laughs> there's just there's no good situation for either of them. For LeBron or the Lakers, it's going to be a like if you're LeBron, you're going somewhere else. You're gonna get hate for that, and you're also risking just wasting another year. You stay for the Lakers, you're you are wasting another year, and you're you're just hoping that yeah. you can just coach your son up until you retire because that's all you're gonna do. Yeah. Rack up points. That's it. Can you really worry about loyalty anymore if you're LeBron? No, I but, don't think there's any point. No, but you gotta think like he still has he has kids in school. His family is out there. His businesses, they're on, they're in LA. Like it would be, I'm sure he's not, he would not be looking forward to moving to true. Another Phoenix city. is not very far. Phoenix is not very far. He's not going to Phoenix. He's not. Bronny Phoenix. comes to the Suns with the 19th pick. Bron comes. <laughs> you know what? People will look back and make fun of the Suns for years. Oh, they yeah, already do pick for the next six years. <laughs> they already do for Josh Jackson and Dragon Bender's picks. So. Do they even is that that's not the same GM though? No, James Jones is way better at his job, but mm. pre Matt Ishiba, but yeah, when whoever who's it, Garver or whatever, the dude that like, yeah, the, the uh, uh he might be in jail or something. I don't know what he's doing. I don't think he's actually serving, he had to sell the team, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when he just like ignored the Suns and let James Jones do everything, it worked, yeah. <clears throat> I could see him going to to uh, the Sixers, but. I feel like that'd be that's probably the worst destination for him because of six chance. Yeah. Six chance are gonna cook him every time he doesn't score 40. <laughs> yeah, but it'll be interesting. That's that's the <laughs> I mean, that's gonna be the story of free agency. But we said the same thing in 2018. Well, I did, 
<laughs> and I didn't care about, about basketball. It. <laughs> but same thing in 2018. Everybody was like, oh, yeah, LeBron's not going anywhere. Why would he want to leave Cleveland? He, he, this is the best chance for him to win, blah, 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 blah. It was then, not, by the way. And then it was like the team, the team that was all rumored about, which right now is the Sixers, are like the odds on favorite other than the Lakers to get LeBron. It was the, the Rockets. And then he ends up going to LA. I think it's going to be a similar situation. I think he's going to pull something. Same thing in 2010 when he went to the Heat instead of the Knicks. Like he likes to do things that, that people aren't expecting. So <laughs> that's just my prediction. And if I'm right, we're going to come on this podcast and, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to gloat about it. You heard it here first. LeBron to the magic 2025. Mass. Speaking of an Eastern conference team, the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, oh. their off season needs to do something because hey, they, they've already made a move. What? What was their move? Oh, they got Darvin Ham. Was that their move? Yeah, they signed Darvin Ham back. They're like, okay, come on back now. <laughs> come on back, son. Good try. <laughs> it's all right. Well, you can join the worst coaching staff in the NBA. I will take Rick Carlisle over Doc Rivers. What's wrong with days Rick out Carlisle? Of 10 days. What did Rick? What's wrong with Rick Carlisle? Nothing. He's just he's just like a most random coach that I mean I'll always gets passed around. Billy Donovan. I'll take Billy Donovan. I don't know about that. Name random coach. <laughs> hey, Donovan the stretch. He was good on the Thunder, and then he went to the Bulls, and then forgot how to coach a team. But <laughs> it's okay. Injuries happen. Yeah. Anyways, the Bucks seventy percent of their salary salary cap is from two players, Giannis and Dame. The rest of their team is thirty percent of their salary cap. Yeah. Um. You're not one of championship like that. Nope. Brooke Lopez. Is making twenty three million dollars. Does he deserve that? That's a rhetorical question. We all know he doesn't deserve that. He's no. thirty six years old, and and the regression, of the you know the drop off of Brook Lopez. It needs to be studied. Whatever he is doing in the off season to regress his game so much, I just want. It I'm gets just worse curious. And worse. It, some seasons he learned he remembers he can block shots, and then other ones he just doesn't. And well, supposedly well, he was freaking it's, it's second and defensive player of the year. It's every time I have ago. him. Every time I have him in fantasy, it's when he forgets how to block shots. But it's okay. It's okay, bro. I, I had him the year that he averaged like three and a half blocks. Yeah, and then I got him the next year, and then he didn't. <laughs> no, but it, it's just they're in a a bad situation. Yeah, altogether, and there, there's no like, it's not like oh we well, we just have to get through this next year and then we. Dame's off our books, whatever. No, <laughs> no, you got four more years, buddy. And and like, and Giannis is Giannis is he, he's the best player in the NBA to me. Like, just dominance wise, like when when Giannis is at his best, he's the best player in basketball. You can't stop what he's gonna do. But and 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 if there's if there's somebody that I want as my best player in the team right now, going in the playoffs, I want Giannis. And and and. They just haven't built a team around him since the, their, their championship, and I don't know that they're really in any rush too, because it doesn't seem yeah. like they added Dame. Like, oh, this is our piece. This is the piece to. No, Dame's old, and and he he did have a bad year. Maybe he bounces back, but I just I think a thirty eight percent like playoffs is what is what you should expect from Dame. Like, yeah, I, he's 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 been clutch like a few series, but. Not for the all Bucks. around, yeah. Not for, for the, the Bucks, Bucks at all. Not at Which, all. It's hard to gauge their season because of injuries. Yeah, but I will just go ahead and say they weren't beating the Celtics. No, free, they weren't going to beat the Celtics. Free agents for the Bucks. Whole bunch of old people. I think Jay Crowder, uh, Thanasis is a free agent. We'll see if he gets signed back. <laughs> Spoiler: He will. Um, Patrick team Beverly, friendly deal for a team friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Except you take up a whole place in your roster, but. Patrick Beverly, um, Malik Beasley is a free agent. I think he's the only free agent the Bucks should sign back. I don't think yeah. any of them. What is, is Connaughton? Is, is Connaughton, Connaughton is still on contract. He is. He's thirty-two. Yeah. Did you know that? He's I think it might be soon. Might be time for him to go soon. He has not really progressed at all well, I mean, since like twenty nineteen. But he plays his role. He does, but like, what's his contract? Uh, it's it's pretty hefty. It's like twelve million, maybe. Nine. That's not bad. Is it nine? Okay, nine's not terrible. But he's he's refrained next year. They probably won't. That's bring also back. that's like what? That's like the sixth highest on the squad. You got to do what you can 
get Pat Connaughton out of there. Well, they can't really sign anybody else. Most teams, they have uh, uh, three through 12 is a, a little bit more spaced out than uh, than the Bucks. Yeah, with Chris Middleton, they're not going to be able to move him. They, like, they should try. They they should, and they may have to package somebody with them or just salary just dump, but send them, the million. Pistons, send them to the Pistons. I think... I think their main Before goal career goes to die. careers go to die. <laughs> yeah, the Pistons. Hey, come back. Back to your home 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 city where you were. Trade him for uh Boyan? I'd do he's that. He's on the Knicks. No, the No he's not. Boyan? He is on the Knicks. Since when? Guys. <laughs> Am I had my trip. Yes, he's on the Knicks. He got hurt midway through the either Sixers or Pacers series. Shout out Boyan Bogdanovich on the Knicks. Wow. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> did y'all know that? <laughs> I knew that. I think most people that watched the playoffs knew that. Did he, Although, not, he played. Did, did he get put? I mean, I guess he might have moved before the deadline. But um, He did. Does it like right at the deadline? I don't it know. It was around there, yeah. He got traded for like Alec Burks. That would have been. Alec Burks is underrated. No, he's not. I, wa- I wish he was. Him. He's not. No, he's not. He got traded to the Pistons. No, he played in the playoffs. Did he? Yes. Okay, well, they were talking about it or something. I thought he got traded. Alec Burks just teleports. Yeah, Alec Burks used to be on the Pistons. Yeah, he did, but I thought he got traded with the Boyan trade. Maybe not. He doesn't deserve any minutes on any team. Alec Burks? He's just like, look at his field goal percentages. <laughs> look at that. He shot 30, <laughs> per, 30%. 13, 30% for the Knicks. In a, uh, in a game seven right there. Let's look at all around, though. Two for five. 39%. 26 points in game seven in 27 minutes. Come on. Tell me Alec Burks isn't him. They lost. Come on, dude. They lost the game look, seven. When he started getting minutes, look at that. Yeah, and then look at all the other stats. He's good. Where are they? He's not. He's a scoring one guard. One assist, he's two assists, zero assists, assist, no one assist. Guard. He's not a point guard. <laughs> he's not. He's a shooting guard that sometimes Shoot shoots. Some. He's a shooter. He's a shooter. Look, five for eight from three. What is a shooter? Well, let's not. <laughs> let's not disrespect Alec Burks, bro. Come on. I had him in fantasy and he sucked too. That's why I'm. He's not a fantasy player. You should never draft him. That's a that's a GM. That was error. a first year fantasy year. All right, let's let's move on now. to the next. Well, next, we already talked about teams. We already talked about all, all right. Well, let's play. Uh, time for the draft. Yeah, let's play our draft. Final piece dun, of the episode. Dun, 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 dun. This is nice. the NFL players, uh, draft, but for basketball, right. basically. Yeah. You're you're start you're starting five for NFL players, but yeah, positionally for basketball. No, I don't know anything about NFL, but I do know how Google works. So I've decided, I've decided my draft via Google, and I think it's pretty good. <laughs> Just off Google, I, well, I know Google who some, all these people like, are, but like uh, for the most part, my, the players that I want, I was like. Yeah, these players are getting drafted for a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we yeah. going? Are, okay, are we going to go like just first pick, second pick? Or are we going to go like okay, I get point guard first, then you get point guard, and then you get shooting guard, I get shooting guard. Are There's going to be a, a lot of overlaps. I feel like if we do that, but okay, well then just go uh, me first. Yeah, you you can take the first pick. Who's who should be my first pick? This mm. is hmm. Should I get my point guard first? My center. <laughs> Cut I don't, all this out. I don't know this if you'll get my years. center yet. Let's, uh... I got your center, not gonna lie. You, this is current players. Yeah, no, current players. All right, I'm gonna get my point guard. This is pretty... This might not be a good first pick, but it is a pick mm-hmm. in this draft. CJ Stroud, uh, at point guard. That was my point guard. Yeah. He's, he uh, he played in the All-Star game. He's a, he's a baller. He played in the Celebrity All-Star he, game. He's, he's he didn't do fluid. good, but he is good. You know, he, 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 uh, he does, like, Form shooting yeah. for every game. It's true. He's a baller. He probably could play. Anyway, uh, well, my first pick, okay, I don't think you're going to go with who is the best player on this board. Um, Like, actual best basketball player. Skill? No. You're not going to go with him. So, I'm going with mostly athletic size and ability. Right. Potential. No, I, I, get, I get that. Well, my first pick, I'm going with my two guard here. And uh, if you look up any of his little tapes from open runs or like high school basketball, you you would have thought he was like he was a, re- a college recruit for basketball. Stefan Diggs, welcome to the squad. That's my two guard okay. right there. Not a bad pick. I don't have him here, but that is really? a no. I don't have him here. There's like there was like a whole talk last season I've about him, him being the best hooper in the NFL. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's see. Should I? Let's go with my. Shooting guard. We're just going to go down the line. Okay. 
shooting guard. This is uh could be a little controversial, probably not. Probably he averaged twenty in high school oh. as a senior. Mm. Big probably. Burr, Joe Burrow. <laughs> at shooting guard. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Burrow. He's a shooter. He, he can shoot. I, he's not on my list, but that is, that's not a bad pick. Not a bad pick. I had a different white quarterback on my pick. Is one of my picks I think I know who it is. Are you, do you have him on your list, too? Actually, I have two other white quarterbacks, just in case Big Big Burke uh, got picked, but it's okay. okay. Well, I'm taking... Okay, so since you took my point guard, I'm taking a different point guard. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> he, he's got... It runs in the family, like... It's all in his jeans. He's a, he's a hooper. I'm taking Drake May. Not a bad pick. Drake he May. He was my back, one of my backup picks. He's, he's, he's there. He, he, he's a he, baller. Yeah, he can do it. He can do it. 6'6", six, six, good size. He's 6'6"? Six, six? Yeah. Okay, not bad, not bad. Respectable pick. Let's go to small forward then, since we're going down the line. At small forward, another celebrity all-star mm. game player, DK Metcalf. Wow. Didn't know you were going there. See, Athletic. Athletic size, size yeah, sure. speed, no agility, strength. He doesn't need agility. He doesn't. He has no ball handle, and he's six four. He is a defensive. He's stopper. small forward. That's my small forward. Mm, I don't like that pick actually. I'm gonna take him because I'm scared that you may have him on your list. Who? He is the like like hands down best hooper on this list. Mo Ali Cox. I don't have him. He is my but small I, forward. I thought about BCU. Him. Thought about in him. college. Didn't put him his stats. Again, I didn't go off basketball stats here, besides high school, I guess, but I thought it was pretty cheap he to played pick in college, college players. He played in college. He did. Yeah, I mean, eight points and five boards a game, 60% of the field. Not bad for college. Yeah, and 57%. He's a, yeah, he, he, got, he got minutes. Didn't he, take a single three, or if he did, he didn't make them. He made one in his, in his freshman year. <laughs> wow, and he made it. Yeah. But, yeah, 10, he, 10 and 5, two blocks, yeah. As a college basketball player, respectable, respectable. I mean, that's the best. VCU D one, yeah, VCU D one. They went uh, far in the tournament one year, huh. like Sweet Sixteen, I think. Not bad. That's All right, my pick. I, you didn't have him on your list, did you? I did not. I could have saved him, but mm. I thought about putting him. I just didn't because mm. I wanted the big names. Big names. And speaking of know. big names, another celebrity All Star <laughs> Game <laughs> player. I'll take Miles Garrett, bro. Miles Garrett. <laughs> At power forward, boo -boo. big strong man. Y'all are gonna have y'all are gonna get clamped up. Anybody with a mind is gonna just take the ball from you. Can't uh, dribble. Who's gonna take the ball on your team from my guy? CJ Stroud is the only person on your team who can dribble. Joe Burrow? You don't think Joe Burrow is the most fundamental dribbles of all time? Fundamental. <laughs> That's what we're talking about here. That means not getting stolen because you're he. Kinda, you're kind of undersized too. Thumb pads. But yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> That's your that. That's your four. Is Miles? That's scary. my four. Miles scary. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with five here, and I'm gonna take Orlando Brown, take Chiefs Chiefs tackle Orlando Brown. Okay, six foot nine inches tall. Take him. You want him? He's a beast. Go ahead. What's your What's your pick? Come on. My My number five, one inch taller at six ten, Dan Skipper oh, of the gosh, Lions. But, but what color is he? He's white, and he can set screens. Probably has a little bit of a jumper, just based <laughs> off his skin color, but <laughs> he's. I, see, I saw I saw Dan, and I was just like. You know what? No, I, saw, I, I know Orlando. He in middle school at least. I, no, high school too. They, he definitely got fed the ball in the post. They were running a lot of post ups for him. A lot of pick and rolls. He was dunking on everybody. I saw Dan and I envisioned Zadrunas Elgowskis. <laughs> so Dan probably never picked up a basketball in his life. Come on, let's be honest here. Do you want to do a? Have you done? Oh, you got one more pick. I got one okay. pick. Um, and I have. Okay, so Mo, Mo Ali Cox, he played power forward in college. So I'm moving him to my four. I had him in my three, but I'm moving him to my four. Okay. And um, at my three, I'm taking Justin Jefferson. I think super fluid. Pretty small. Super fluid. Small three. DK I mean, Metcalf is eating him, by the way. But that's, they play the same position. Don't matter. I think Jefferson's 6'3. Tyreek Hill plays the same position as DK Metcalf, too. Yeah, so I does Tyreek Hill. Nope. Nope. Good thing. Do you want to yeah. go? Do you want to do a sixth man? Maybe seventh man? Since we really have more picks here, and I don't think they're the same. Let's just do, let's just do a sixth man. All right. I'll, it, I'll, I get first pick for six man. Since I was that fair, but because I just want to. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm taking a locker room guy. Guy who's smart. He's a fundamental player. 
he he's got the IQ that he needs to be that that TJ McConnell off the bench. He's he's gonna be there for every every teammate. He's going he's gonna fight through screens. He's gonna die for loose balls. Give me Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> You can't tell me Patrick Mahomes wasn't a hustle player on the court, bro. Patrick Mahomes isn't doing any of the things you listed. Yes, he is, bro. He's shooting on. threes, maybe going he, behind screens. But. Come on, bro. He's going crazy. So give me Patrick Mahomes my six, man. All right. Good backup point guard, I guess. You know, I'm going to go. I need some size here. And we're going to go a guy that can also dribble the ball. Save this team a little bit. Justin Herbert. 6'6", six, six, white guy. He can dribble, of course he can. And have you? I don't know that we've he, I've ever seen a Justin Jeff, uh, Justin Herbert uh, basketball clip. You know ever. he has good form. You know he does. <laughs> you know it. If Justin Herbert has bad form, this podcast is over. <laughs> you know he insert a clip of Justin Jefferson. I mean Justin Herbert. I don't want to. <laughs> three. I'm no, scared. You gotta put one in. All right. Well, last episode in. probably. But audio listeners, uh, there's a clip playing of Justin Herbert blocking a shot and then also dunking the ball. It's one to make y'all feel like you're not left out. All right, what, how would you have felt if I said Mike Evans instead? Would you have liked that better? Or I would have liked that better, better. Way better, yeah. He did average 18 and 5 in high school. But and, and he I think he's a, little, he's a little shorter, like maybe an inch or two. He played uh, at Texas a for one year. For real? Yeah, I don't know that he actually, like, he was on the team. I know that. Did you have Puka Nuku on your list? No, did he play in college? I don't know. He played in the celebrity game, too. And he dunked a few times, so he could do it. He could be good. I didn't even think about him. That was a fun draft. Not bad. Let us know what kind of drafts y'all want to see. Yeah, comment down below. Um, if you want to see, or if you don't like the drafts, then don't say anything tell, at all. Tell us We're to gonna stop. Keep drafting. Tell us to stop if you really want us to. It won't do anything, but at least we'll know how you guys feel about it. Um, yeah. But we're not stopping. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to talk about? No, I think I think that's it. All right. Well, it's fun. Yep. It got there. It, it was a struggle. And if y'all saw the struggle, it's because we're tired. But... Appreciate y'all watching. See y'all next time. Bye. Bye Bye-bye, bye-bye.